we've got kilometers an hour, liters what I'm putting on per hectare, and the bar pressure that I'm spraying at. That one there is what I've got my fluid in the tank, my height for up and down, and my tilt for side to side. That one there is for the uh, lock on the um, mast, and then that, that one is for me manually overriding it. That one is for me agitation and returns back to the tank. That's my main spray on and off. Work lights, unfolding right hand last section, unfolding middle section. That is the transport lock, then middle section left, mid last section left. To start off in the field, I have to change the page. Hydraulicking. Now I can unfold the machine. So first one is up. Unfold. main unfold with those two I just let either side down so they're sort of level and once you're about ready the transport lock because this side is now for me unfolding the transport lock has now been moved up to there just take the transport lock off away you go That one there is from uh, when I'm spraying. So my main on and off, on, work lights again. And then also if I can go around an obstacle, I can fold the outer section in, the inner section on right and left hand side. And then to turn, once you finish spraying, turn off again. Got your individual switches, your section shut offs on the switches. You've got four on each side, so it's eight nozzles. Eight nozzles a, a section, so that's one side spraying, other side's off as you go down. And then main on and off on there again. That's telling me how far I've been, how many hectares I've done, and how many litres I've put through the sprayer. That one, for the information, is what I am doing at the moment. Volume a hectare, I'm putting 100 litres on. I'm using my O3 bubble jets. We've got, you can put 100 different products in here. So when you can go GPS with it and you're doing all your um, memory stick in the side, yeah. you can put in uh, product one. So we've, at the moment we're just using product one is water. Product two we are using is liquid fertiliser. How many more hectares I can do with what's left in the tank. And then that one there is where you set up what you're using. So if you press it once, I can change how many litres a hectare I want to put on. Yeah. Press it twice, it changes. So that's what I've set up for myself. We have got, got three sets of nozzles on the sprayer at the moment. There's an angled set. That's our bubble jets. And that's the green fertiliser ones I use for fertiliser. So if I was going fertilising in the moment, I would just go down like that. Press OK. Telling me up there, now and now I'm green foot. Yeah. So if you press it and hold it, at the moment I've got two sprayers set up. I can put in what the sprayer name, and because we've got a set of wide wheels and narrow wheels, the wheel circumference is a difference. So I'm on my narrow wheels at the minute, the wheel circumference is 5.61. If I wanted to use another sprayer on that one, I'd go down to that one. If I pressed it, it then tells me I've gone to my second sprayer. And that's got the wider wheels on it, so the wheels come just as different. You can either just go back page, 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 or if you just press escape, it always brings you back to your main spraying page. Me as an operator, I set that up as my spraying page, and then. When I want, when I finish spraying and I'm going to move fields, I just press that and 
then that is my roads page. So I just put the lock on to go back into transport. And then I just fold up, that one folds. So both sides fold together. And then you've got flashing light for road and your work lights. So. When it's removed from the cab, there is a dead man switch on the back. So when it's off of its mount in the tractor, without pressing the switch on the back, nothing works. Once I press the dead man switch in, all functions work then on the handle. Main up. Main unfold. Left and right geometry down. Main down. Second stage unfold. Third stage unfold. We've got the main on and off for spraying, which is that one. And we've got our individual section switch offs go off, off, off off, then on, 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 but it works in starting from the center, going left, then it goes right. So both sides can be switched off just from the four buttons, then switch back on. From an operator's view, this is a fabulous tool, because as before, all operators know, when you get a bone nozzle, take the nozzle off, clean it, Put it back on, back to the cab, switch back on. If it's still unbunged, we'll back out again, do it again. Now I can just unbung it, put it back on, try it while I'm out of the cab here. Yeah, unbunged, back in the cab. I haven't got to get out again because I'm away. Then we've got road for the transport lock on that one, pendulum lock on that one, and on these two it is for flashing light and then your work lights. As you can see I'm a good 20 meters from the tractor and the e-pilot still works fine. From an operator's point of view I find the e-pilot once you've got used to the functions and where they are is a lot easier to use than having to turn around and look at the screen because it's all on hand, don't have to move your hand away to move to operate anything, it's all at the fingertips. thousand litres in there. And then all I do, number five, spraying. Five, five. And every everyone is on number five. I've got my auto set at 120 centimetres from the ground. Or well, you can have it set from the top of the crop. You can either sense the top of the crop or the ground. I've got mine set at 120 centimetres from the ground so then we are ready to go spraying.